What's good, YouTube? It's about Movie Live back with another action video. Today, we have Undisputed It's Trash Talk. Shannon Sharp destroys who? <laughs> Blast LeBron James and Bonkers ran. I, I, the title was killing me. But this is about, bro, I don't even think your name was said over your name. Keep in mind, I don't think your name was said over 10 times this year before you spoke on LeBron. But we got another casual meat rider. Worried about another man that they couldn't reach his greatness and they had if you can't reach the greatness might as well hit on them Right that, that that's the mindset, but Kwame Brown. I think that's how you say it. I've never heard of him other than him I mean imagine your hit imagine your uh What's the word I'm looking for? Imagine your resume is bust worst number one overall most overrated player like imagine that being your resume that, That's embarrassing but it's Shannon Sharp defending LeBron. Let me let me see what they gotta say. But but to, to to sum it up, the Kwame Brown dude went on live. He went on live, I think, two to three times talking about LeBron James being one of the worst all something just you feel me, average LeBron person you saying he's overrated, statistic no one thinks he's good unless you're a nerd. I don't know. You're supposed to be the best scorer in the game. He has literally the most points in NBA history. Where does supposed to have anything? Like, where does that come from? He has the most points in NBA history. And because he's 40, I think, years old, 38 years old, and he can't get off a shot after dropping 40 points, he can't get off a shot because of two people are reaching through his arm. He's a bust. He's got to be the greatest player that ever played the game. And then people who actually play are going to know that is Like, imagine being so much of a hater slash dick eater that you're, you're so... You, the, that's why he said, oh, the nerds are going to look up stats and think he's the best. I mean, if a nigga is top five... If a nigga is number one... I was going to say top five, but that's an understatement. If a nigga is number one in every category of basketball history, like... What, 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 like, what, what is he supposed to be? Not the best player ever on top of having, on top of being, it's not even like he just had the numbers. He, we've seen what LeBron does. You feel me? It's not even like he just is number one. No, we, we know what he does. Come on now. That nigga, I don't even know who, I, I can almost, I can cross my heart and hope to die. I've never seen a Kwame Brown clip in basketball. Dead ass. I've never, I don't even know if I'm saying the nigga name right. Kwame Brown. I've never seen. I don't even know what team this nigga got drafted. I put that on everything. I don't know what team he got drafted to. I don't know where he. I don't know who he. I don't even know a team he played for. I don't even know anything about this nigga. He's talking like, bro. Come on, man. I don't know one thing about this nigga. I've never seen him shoot a basketball. I. I don't know. I don't know anything about him. To his thoughts. I just don't know. You've been done. What would you have done? You know an overall pick. Yeah. I, I don't get it because LeBron was in a no-win situation. People say, LeBron, why would you set a four three? Why would you shoot a step back this? Facts. Drive the ball. Jamar Murray does a great job of tying him up. And that Facts. Even as he holds on to the ball, he's trying to get the shot up. Aaron Gordon blocked him. Now he's saying, well, he should have pulled up. It's easy to say what you should have done after the fact of knowing what has happened. Yeah. Facts. And, and, and he said, you're supposed to be great. Really, Kwame, of all the people, he should never, ever question anybody's greatness. <laughs> because this is what we know. I don't even know who this nigga is. He's not even, he's not even called great, so he can question whatever he wants, honestly. If there's a Mount Rushmore for bust mm -hmm. in the NBA history, whether he's the first head, the second head, the third, or the fourth, he's on Mount Rushmore, a bust NBA player. There's no question. Ah! And then he's going to question a guy that... Whether you say he's first, second, he's top five of the greatest players to ever play. You can't make this up. I remember I heard him talk when Kobe scored 81. He's talking about he's hitting damn good screens. Really? Dude, you're the number one pick in the draft, and you talk about you setting screens. <laughs> yeah. Talk about the games that you played. Please, my nigga, I've never, I don't even know what team he plays for. If you know a team he plays for without searching it, I would literally cash at you 100 on the spot. When the shots you hit. Look, 
Nigga could probably play for the Oilers or some shit. They were elegant. They were Barishnikov. Yeah. But it's just not true. They haven't hit more game when he shot than LeBron. You can look it up. numbers don't lie. You can just go look it up. Facts. You have plenty of time. Hell, you own your farm down in down in Georgia. You got plenty of time. You ain't playing no hoops. <laughs> but you want to take a shot because this your thing, Skip. Look what it did. Everybody, he was he was trending. That's what. That's the thing. Th that's the main thing about literally every Twitter account right now. If you can go to all these new shit, these new Twitter names y'all seen pop up, you click their account. That's probably their first tweet they've ever tweeted, and they probably got a million views because of LeBron is being bashed in it. Whatever they have may say, whether he be a bust, whether it was his fault they lost, whether he got. Niggas are bringing up LeBron for main attention, bro. Like, you niggas is talking about him getting swept at 48 year. Like, no other player. Like I said, they're moving the goalposts. No other player is set to the standard of him. If I was the, because I talk a lot of shit, bro. I couldn't imagine. I'm going to be the greatest at what I do. But if I was a sports player and niggas, bro, and I was the greatest of all time, you know how much shit I would talk? Boy, I see why I see why life went the way it was. Cause if I would have stayed in football, I'd, oh my gosh, I'd have talked so much shit. Okay. He trended more for saying something because sometimes Skip, the only success you can have is taking a bite out of somebody that's successful. He Sadly, more for what he said about LeBron than anything he ever done in the NBA. That's <laughs> ever. That's a problem. Yep. That's <laughs> ever. Niggas know you of being a bust. And talking about LeBron, like, come on, bro, you gotta hop off. Imagine being known for meat riding, bro. That shit embarrassing. Do you have kids? If so, them niggas should be in. They, they're embarrassed of you, bro. Grow up. You're already grown. I can't even tell you to grow up, nigga. Do something. I don't know what you need. Do something, bro. Now, whatever you're good at, that's what you should be like trending for. Kwame <laughs> Brown dropped thirty and twenty. Kwame Brown had a triple double. Mm -hmm. We can't pull up nothing where they say come Kwame Brown ever had a great game. But he had to take a shot. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Embarrassing, bro. Go watch the game. If you didn't think LeBron James, if you didn't think LeBron James played great in that game, sometimes you play great, Skip, and still lose. Facts. Sometimes and my thing was, like I was saying, uh, a lot of people didn't play good that game. Yes, it it, it at a point. It matters about the game that, like, game four mattered the most for the Lakers. Like, if dead ass, if y'all know how I feel about Malik Beasley, Janet Vanderbilt, if Vanderbilt, D Lo, any of them niggas came and showed up that game, I would have erased all the trash did, shit they did game one, two, and three, because them games don't, well, they matter, obviously, but like, okay, you hooped now, game four, you hooped, you gave it your all. But these niggas was still trash, and a lot of y'all keep saying, oh, he played one good game. But the other games, the nigga literally is having 23, 9, and 10. Like, that's not a good game now? 25, 25 plus points, 10 rebounds, and 9 assists ain't a good game because LeBron is doing it. You can't make this shit up. Bro, no one else in NBA history is getting the standards of this nigga. When has 23, 9, and 10 been bad? You can't, you would never, bro, like, you can't make this shit up. I'm trying to tell y'all, you can't make this up. Yes, LeBron only dropped 41 game because of AD dropped a 40-point game one, but then, like, they still lost that, which was embarrassing. But after that, AD, like, what did he do? You feel me? Like, I rather AD had saved that 40-point game for the damn game they lost. Game three or game four. Then they would have had a game five and not have recovered from AD being so ass. But he didn't. They play bad in wing. That's happened. But None more he could have did that game. I'm, I'm and people can't trying, accept the fact. Get, I'm just trying, I'm, I'm it's just really trying, sad how out. bad niggas hate on LeBron. I don't know what. What was probably hoping to accomplish? Because he jumped on there like he's like he's like oh oh and LeBron James you supposed to be a superstar you supposed to be on one of these all time great ones you're supposed to be Psh, no it's sad you were supposed to be an all time <laughs> great player you were supposed to be a superstar ah! that was supposed not LeBron, LeBron Shannon James on his ass is everything that people thought he would be and more. Yep. Facts. It's it's like, bro, mean. like, I, I don't know how much times I got to say it. It's like, at this point, the slogan is only LeBron James. This nigga was in high school being compared to y'all's greatest. Imagine you watching this video. You're probably in high school. And you playing sports. You know, you're just cooling. I'm a little hooper. I'm a little football player, tennis, basketball, baseball. And niggas are like, oh, you're, you're, gonna, you're, you're not going to be better than Babe Ruth. 
And you just like, what the fuck? I'm, I'm 14. I, I mean, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Oh, you're not going to be better than Babe Ruth. And then you finally get to the point to where you're in that that's the same league he was in. You kill him in everything. And then like what? Like I and then you do more. That's literally what he did. They compared him to MJ. He did what he he blew that out the water. Now y'all just saying, oh, he lost one time. So nah, he not better because he did lose that one time. He not better. Oh, he went to 34 finals, but he lost some. So he's not good. The only nigga, in, bro, like you can't make this shit up. LeBron is the only nigga in the history of sports to make it to the biggest stage in being teared down for it. I swear to my soul, no, because he, he went to 10 finals damn near back to back to back to back to back. And he's the only person y'all will ever hear get bashed for it. it you, like I said, you can't make this up. This isn't happening to anybody else. It's not. If LeBron never was LeBron and there was someone else that had 10 finals appearances, it would never, they would literally be, I, they would be saying that they're this good, they're that good. Bro, they made it 10 times. Boom, boom, boom. But since it's LeBron. Oh, he lost this much, though. Oh, but what about him losing? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. At this point, I'm just going to lose in the fucking regular season since going to the... I don't know what y'all want from him. Dead ass. Go ahead and stack to Matt Barnes has been on your head. LeBron James has never said anything about you. Who has? No one knows him to say anything about him. Because you know what? I'm trending. And you don't get people on my phone. Like, imagine trending for a dick eating, bro. Let me see if they... When these guys get picked one overall and they flop, I don't blame them. I blamed who picked them because that's on Michael Jordan. You, you got to know better, right? I, I can't condemn. You blind. Did, did you really just say that shit? So if I pick a nigga who I'm looking at in college and they're this oh so great player, then I draft them because if I seen that they were so good and then they become on my team and their ass, it's my fault for drafting them. The hell am I supposed to do? Just shuffle up a thing and draft random players and hope that they're better. Like what? It's not their fault he sucked. It's his fault. He's trash. I don't even know what college. I don't even know how he was the number one pick. What college? I don't even know this nigga. What draft was he in? I don't know anything about this nigga except for now, bro. You could just see right away. He can't live up. Right. Right. He he should not have been the first overall pick. Was Right. He could have been first, second, third. He could have been 21st. He was terrible. Okay. do with the book. Okay. But he shouldn't have gone one. Dead ass. He averaged. No matter what pick he is, he's terrible. That's on Michael Jordan. I'll say it again. I'm the biggest Jordan fan as a player, but I think Jordan has proven to be the all-time worst GM. Yes, Kim, and that might be the case. But at some point in time, we got to stop blaming these blaming these execs for players not looking off the read. Literally. That's the shit I'd be talking about, bro. Y'all blame everybody but the niggas who are on the court. I don't blame coaches till after seeing a nigga is ass and they are continuously keeping them on that team. That's what I'm saying. Nah, this coach is trash. First of all, I don't even call coaches trash unless they they're trash coaches. I called Doc Rivers trash because like if you if you are a coach and you can't pick up, you're not doing nothing. You're a bad coach. You feel me? If the players on your team are trash, I can't blame you for that. At a point to where you keeping them niggas on and you put in, giving them buku minutes, that's where I blame you. That's where I blame you. You feel me? I don't just be like, oh, this coach picked, uh, traded for this person. Oh, you a bad coach. I'm going to be like, okay, you traded. Let's see what the trade going to hit for. I'm watching the nigga hoop. Okay, he kind of stink a little. Give him a little bit of minutes. Why he averaging 30 minutes a game? This nigga stinks. Bench him. He's still averaging 30 and you kept him for next season? You're a trash coach. That's when I say a nigga a trash coach. Not whenever, you know... A dude just playing trash. Like you can't get mad at the coaches for drafting a nigga and he's ass. After a year, he wasn't. He wasn't a first round pick. He wasn't a second round pick. He should have been undrafted. Well, right? He, That's well, how he, he plays. He's doing what he's supposed to do now. Now he a big ass farmer. All right. He the tallest farmer in America. How about that? <laughs> to his credit, every time he does this. <laughs> Sorry, ass man. He'll say at some point. That's all I have for this video, bro. Kwame Brown, make a career out of what you 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 tried, you didn't work. Honestly, keep doing it. This is giving you the only fucking the only anything in your life, so keep striving for it. You feel me? Because like I said, your name probably wasn't said out of any mouth more than twenty times this year. Even probably your parents, bro. Not even said. Keep in mind, not any not even Kwame Brown was said twenty thrown in the air twenty times this year. Before you brought up LeBron, so just hey, if it 
If it's broke, don't fix it. You feel me? But if it's not broke, don't. Y'all know the slogan. But if y'all like the video, like, comment, subscribe, check everything down below. Till next time, we out. Peace.